Dear brothers in Christ Jesus, in this holy mass, let us offer for Diocese of Guntu, Rantachantal Parish. This mass is offered for the Vivani TV, Corpus Pondonas, Tangirala Aditya Maredi, Sandhya Rani. On the occasion of birthday of Tangirala, Shishit Reddy, for good health and good future and good health of all family members. Thanking God for all the graces received, offered by Thumma Inaradi, Rake Lama. Today's Rosary, Divine Mercy Chaplet, Word of God, Holy Hour are also offered for this family and their intentions. Good afternoon dear brothers and sisters. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, God so loved the world and He gave His only Son. And whoever believes in Him may not be perished may have eternal life. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, Jesus came into this world not to condemn the world but to save the world. So whoever believes in him will be saved. Therefore, all those who are participating in this Mass have believed in Jesus Christ. We are saved in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, we are called Christians and the saved ones. Before we partake in this Holy Eucharistic celebration, let us call to mind all our sins and ask pardon from the Lord. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. As we recall by you the mysteries by which through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again. We earnestly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate in faith may possess an unending love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the Acts chapter 5 verses 17 to 26. The men whom you put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days the high priest rose up and all who were with him, that is the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy they arrested the apostles and put them in the public prison. 
But during the night, an angel of the Lord opened the prison doors and brought them out and said, Go and stand in the temple and speak to the people all the words of this life. And when they heard this, they entered the temple at daybreak and began to teach. Now when the high priest came and those who were with him, they called together the council, all the senate of the people of Israel, and sent to the prison to have them brought. But when the officers came, they did not find them in the prison, so they returned and reported. We found the prison securely locked and the guards standing at the doors, but when we opened them, we found no one inside. Now when the captain of the temple and the chief priests heard these words, they were greatly perplexed about them, wondering what this would come to. And someone came and told them, Look, the men whom you put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. Then the captain with the officers went and brought them, but not by force, for they were afraid of being stoned by the people. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Your response, the lowly one called and the Lord heard him. The lowly one called and the Lord heard him. I will bless the Lord at all times. Praise of him is always in my mouth. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast. The humble shall hear and be glad. Your response, the lowly one called and the Lord heard him. The lowly one called and the Lord heard him. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me. From all my terrors, he set me free. Your response, the lowly one called and the Lord heard him. The lowly one called and the Lord heard him. Look toward him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This lowly one called, the Lord heard and rescued him from all his distress. Your response, the lowly one called and the Lord heard him. The lowly one called and the Lord heard him. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who fear him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed the man who seeks refuge in him. Your response, the lowly one called and the Lord heard him. The lowly one called and the Lord heard him. According to St. John, Glory, Glory to, to you, o Lord. John chapter 3, verses from 16 to 21. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Those who believe in him are not condemned, but those who do not believe are condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son. And this is the judgment that the light has come into the world, and the people love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For all who do evil hate the light and do not come to the light, so that their deeds may not be exposed. But those who 
do what is true come to the light so that it may be clearly seen that their deeds have been done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, just now we have heard in the Gospel reading, John chapter 3, verse 16, this sentence is familiar to each and every one of us. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, and whoever believes in him may not be perished, may have eternal life. So only one thing we need to do, we need to believe in Jesus Christ. And many people, they saw Jesus but they did not believe. Most of the people, when Jesus came into this world, they believed. Therefore they were saved. That's why the Lord loved us so much. Therefore we love him. We need to love the Lord. First he loved us. Therefore we love him. Jesus also loved us and he gave his life for entire humanity. We need to love one another as Jesus loved us. And the Lord came as a light into this world. But people loved darkness rather than the light. John chapter 8 verse 12 says, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me may not walk in darkness but may have light of life. So God came into this world. Jesus came into this world as a light. And people love darkness. Why? Because they want to remain in darkness. They don't want to come into the light. Because if they come into the light, their sin will be exposed. Therefore, they want to remain in the darkness. But the Lord wants us to remain in the light. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 5. St. Paul says beautifully, You are not belong to the darkness. You are belong to the light. Therefore, do not live in the darkness. Come to the light. That is, come to Jesus Christ. If we are in darkness, we are in the sin and the, we are in evil one. Therefore, we need to come to Jesus. That is, come to light. Jesus is the light of the world. Therefore, he says, I have come not to condemn this world, but only to save the world. Therefore, whatever that Jesus did so that people might come to the Father and to be saved. He doesn't want anybody to be perished. He doesn't want anybody to go astray. He wants everybody to be saved. In today's first reading, we have heard Acts of the Apostles. Apostles were doing wonderful things in the name of Jesus. After the resurrection of Jesus, even the apostles, when they were walking, sick people were brought and put under the shade of the apostles, so that that shade might fall and heal the people. By seeing these Pharisees and Sadducees, they wanted to punish them, and they took them and put in the prison. And uh, the angel of the Lord went and released them miraculously. All the doors were shut, and the locks were there, and the God was there, even though the angel of the Lord went and brought them out and told them to preach in the synagogue. They began to preach. And when the time came in the morning, Pharisees and Sadducees, the elders sent the prisoners to bring them back. But they were not there in the prison. Miraculously, the angel of the Lord brought, Yes, dear brothers and sisters, if you are in the Lord, if you are working for the Lord, the Lord will protect from any danger wherever you are. Therefore, like that of apostles, we need to work for the Lord. Therefore, dear brothers and sisters, we pray in this Holy Eucharistic celebration that the good Lord may give us the grace to work and to witness to the gospel and to his resurrection.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by the worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them, them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, loud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sin of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic course sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spreads throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, who will enter our Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles, St. Joseph and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glory for you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the safest command found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done. done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the support of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, roof but, but only say a word and, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there and until myself to you holy. Never permit me to separate it from you. Amen. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those who have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Yeah, yeah.